when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. A lot, I sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. So finally nothing I have started rolling out stable build of Android 13 for nothing phone one, which is version 1.5.2. So in this video, we'll talk about all the features what nothing have added on their nothing phone one. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have a nothing phone one. Let me show you the software information. If you go to about section here, you can see software version is 1.5.2. Android version is Android 13. It still have the 5th Jan 2023 security patch, which was on beta 2 and guys if you haven't received the OTA update I'll give all the download links in the description below you can download the full zip file and I'll also mention how to install stable build on nothing phone one and I was already running open beta 2 wherein I received the OTA update and the update size was 157 MB if you guys are on the stable build of Android 12 then make sure to use the full zip file instead of incremental first let's talk about the benchmark results and let's compare it with the beta 2 so here we have the geekbench application if you go to history here you can see these were done on the stable build and the below benchmarks are from the beta 2. Stable build have scored slightly lower benchmark results wherein single core have scored 793 and multi core have scored 2764. If you talk about beta 2 on that single core scores were 813 and multi core scores were 2886 and throttling issues are still same on the stable build compared to the previous build. So here you can see this was the graph wherein we did only testing for 15 minutes and maximum CPU throttle 75%. If I compare it with the previous build, so here you can see this was the previous build there also we did notice bit of throttling issues and maximum CPU throttled up to 72%. And guys before moving ahead if you like a content and think it's useful for you then make sure to subscribe and smash that like button that will motivate us in making better content with quality in a previous review video there were some issues which i have mentioned on beta 2 some of them are fixed but some of them are still there and also a lot of users have been asking us about the 5g connectivity when it comes to geo sim card so i did test out the 5g services and here you can see these are the results wherein i got 438 download speed and upload speed was 11.8 mb and i tested this with my geo sim card on beta 2 i had mentioned touch issues in the app drawer but till now i haven't encountered any of them but as this is a newer build so i'll be testing out thoroughly and update you guys in the upcoming review video and one thing which still nothing haven't fixed and that's the shutter speed it was the same case on beta 2 beta 1 and now it continues to stable build shutter speed is quite slow on nothing phone 1 it was way better on android 12 i did not see any kind of difference in the picture quality compared to beta 2 but still i'll be testing out camera thoroughly and update you guys in the review video also the next thing which haven't been fixed and if you go to the settings you can see a color shifting happening on the screen which i also mentioned in my previous review video so here you can see the app drawer consists of white background and if you go to the settings page it do changes the color i'm not sure whether this is the implementation on android 13 because i haven't seen this thing on any other smartphone animation effects of pop-up view seems to be better on stable build compared to beta we have seen choppy animations on beta 2 but now it seems to be improved on stable build animations are much smoother now now let's quickly go through all the new features what nothing have added with android 13 so one of them is this new weather app which they have implemented so this is the new weather app added by nothing on the nothing phone one you can just tap on the weather widget on the home screen that will open up the weather application on your nothing phone one it's quite a unique application with a cool design and nothing stock fonts later nothing also added few custom sound packs and a glyph interface so if you go to ringtones here you can see now we have a nothing machine to 11 sound packs and these are some of the ringtones along with the new glyph interface Also now if you go to wallpapers and styles, we do have more color options present here. There are total 16 color palettes for wallpaper based colors and for basic colors we do have 4 options. 
nothing also added few new wallpapers so if you go to wallpaper section tapping on nothing i guess total six wallpapers have been added now previously there were four wallpapers present on nothing os based on android 12 and later we do have the option of themed icon present here which can be found in the customization section here you can see there is an option of themed icon so here icons will adapt to the wallpaper color though not every application supports that and it's not an issue from nothing team it's an issue from app developers google have already confirmed that with android 14 google will give an option to force apply this themed icon feature on every application and at last under customization now you can also customize the lock screen shortcuts so here if you go to display lock screen lock screen shortcut here you can see now you can customize the left shortcut and the right shortcut where you get options like device control google wallet torch camera and if you want you can leave it empty same options can be found for right button now you also get to see this new music tile from android 13 but long back on android 13 google introduced that wavy stuff in the timeline but that's not the case with this music tile present on nothing phone one from here you can directly access to other audio devices now we do have the google's gaming dashboard or you can say gaming mode which now supports this notification display to minimal or you can keep it as default now we get to see smoother animation when transitioning the display on or off when it comes to privacy and safety google have been continuously working on improving the privacy and the safety part on android smartphones and the same thing goes with nothing phone one you will always get an alert when an app access your clipboard and after a period of time, it will automatically clear the history. They also added this personal safety application on Nothing Phone 1. And slight improvements you guys will also notice when it comes to system performance. As per Nothing, they have improved the fingerprint unlock accuracy by 12% with this newer build. Along with that, app startup speed has also been increased up to 71%. And yes guys, there's a lot of improvement in the app startup speed compared to Android 12 on Nothing Phone 1. Later, they improved the standby power consumption up to 50% so that we'll get to know once we start using the device as a primary phone and we'll update you guys in the review video. And another system implement what they have done is a new feature have been added which is called system repair feature which will periodically delete unused system dumps and caches and at last they improved the system stability and few general bug fixes have been done and you guys let us know in the comment section below whether you guys received the android 13 stable build on your nothing phone one or not soon i'll be coming up with in-depth review so if you have any questions then let me know in the comment section below so guys this was the quick look on all the features what nothing phone have received with android 13 update as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day